Good day, my name is Paul, M0PLA. I'm a member of the uh, Telford District Amateur Radio Society and uh, a couple of the uh, things I like doing is uh, so to work, uh, working on top of the mountains or the summits. Uh, I like doing a bit of chasing and uh, QRP work and uh, primarily building my own antennas. Uh, the antenna at the moment we're looking at is this one here, the Moxon. Uh, fantastic antenna I think. Uh, this one's a, a lightweight aluminium frame uh, which I'm going to show you how to build. And uh, I've uh, built this one, this uh, first time I built one and it seems to be working uh, extremely well from uh, the results on the analyzer. So uh, I'll now go through the parts required and also uh, the method I use to build. Okay, equipment required. A pipe bender with adapters, two lengths of uh, aluminium tube, which is a diameter of 12.7 millimeter. Uh, it's just a pipe that we have lying around. And some plastic conduit, which is oval in shape and fits nicely over the aluminium tubing. Okay, bending the aluminium tube, uh, first of all I thought if I bend it too quick it's going to crease up, hence this piece here. Uh, it was uh, bent slightly too quick and it did crease up, so that was no good. And I thought about putting some sand inside the tube to help uh, with the bending, but that was a complete and utter failure. So it didn't work at all. Okay, bending some pipe. Using the pipe bender, thanks for opening the tube. All I've done is I've marked roughly where I want the, uh, the 90 degree angle to be. Uh, the pipe is slightly longer than I need. So what we do is open up the pipe. Once the pipe is set, just a nice, gentle, slow action. And I say if you do it too fast, it will actually cre uh, crease all the pipe up. So just take it nice and easy. I suppose I could heat the pipe up and uh, see what that did. Uh, but uh, the tests I've done with it bending nice and slowly haven't worked out too bad. As you can see, just nice and gentle, nothing, uh, nothing too fierce, or it will actually uh, crease the pipe up. That will be uh, no good then to be used. Uh, just nice and gently round, and then I've got some marks on there, but they're not for this size pipe; they're for a different size pipe. In a little bit further, and that should be about right. So take that out, tighten it down. There we go. I've just got to put a, another slight bend on it, but as you can see, it's uh, it's bent and it's not really creased up. Okay, I've now bent it to 90 degrees, uh, so you, all I've done is use the tiles on my floor in the conservatory, just hold it down the grout lines to get the 90 degrees. And as you can see, it's not really creased up and it's a nice radius on the bend. Uh, so you just do four of these, say oversized, uh, only by a few inches either side, and then with the four, you can actually join them together, which I'll show you in a second. Okay, all four pieces have now been cut, not to the required length, uh, just slightly oversized, and uh, primarily we're looking for your uh, four 
radius on the corners. Uh, the drive element, which is going to be the bottom, as you can see the left and right side, there is a, there is a space between the two there. Uh, that is where obviously your feed line is going to go to, your centre and your braid. Uh, that is actually 705 millimetres, uh, which is uh, the length that I've actually cut that to already. And uh, as you can see, the other parts just need cutting down slightly, and then we're uh, we're getting where we need to be. Okay, as seen, now all pieces have been cut to the desired length. The reflector at the back. I still have a cut between the two pieces uh, as I join these uh, with a piece of aluminium inside which I'll show you shortly how to do and uh, I find this way I can take all the beam apart and have four sections so the moxen can be uh, put into a little bag and taken on top of any summit if you uh, want to achieve uh, a bit of portable work with it and uh, I find it a, a very good idea. Okay, next thing I do is measure 10 millimeters from the center to the right and the center to the left and drill two four millimeter holes uh, to mount some brass nut and bolts. As seen from the close up image, it's just two brass nut and bolts uh, drilled through the, the aluminum frame ready for the feed point to be connected to. The next thing I do is take one of the off cuts of the aluminium pipe, cut it to about two inches long and using a junior axe just cut down the entire length twice to give you a better, a better three or four millimetre gap as, as you can see here. And then we can actually crush this together which then gives you the diameter smaller than it was originally which then will slide into the existing pipe. Okay, now as seen here that is the little two inch off cut we had it's now slid inside the director so now as you can see we have the director and the reflector are ready to be assembled together. Okay, what I've done now is I've measured 10 millimeters from the end of the pipes on the left and also the pipes on the right. And what you're going to do is I use this plastic oval conduit and from the measurement on the Moxon calculator, the air spacing here and the other side is 17 millimeters. So this has been cut to 37 millimeters. And then because I've got 10 millimeters here and here, and also 10 millimeters here and here, I know if I push this in, it's going to leave me 17 millimeters in the center. Okay, now I have the plastic conduit on both sides and I've left just the one section out so you can see how it goes together. You have to just open the plastic conduit up slightly because of the oval shape and the part, the remaining, will just sit in like that. Okay, you can see that the two elements on where the feed is going to go are actually touching together. They can't touch together as we're all aware. So what I use is this. It's a clamp which has a rubber grommet. So what I do is I open it up push the two parts in And then once it's mounted to the boom, obviously it can't touch. 
Okay, I've used the existing boom off the other antenna, uh, which I'd put pictures on Facebook, as uh, I don't have enough conduit lying around to make another one. So uh, we're now going to go and take this in the garden, and uh, fingers crossed, everything's been built to the right specifications. Garden. I'm going to plug in the analyzer. Got to be quick because it's just on rain. See the screen. Got it set on one four five five hundred uh, plus ten megs at the moment. See that so there you have it. That's a, a setup.